Assalamualaikum and uh, good morning to everyone. So today I would like to introduce the uh, simulator that uh, available in our power system technology labs. So in this simulator, it's offered numerous numbers of uh, experimental work. So this is the domain of the experimental work. And for instance, in this inside this type in these uh, uh, experiments contain just a moment. Okay, so contain few numbers, few numbers, uh, several numbers of uh, training contents. Yeah? Similarly for similarly for. Uh, uh, other domain experimental uh, work which also offered several numbers quite a lot eh? this is very nice and flexible somehow flexible where you can you basically you can uh, play with the screen and and then you can also do some kind of communication using SCADA technology uh, I mean, you can communicate between uh, between the the systems and uh, between the bench, both bench. Okay. So now I would like to introduce introduce to everyone about the fundamental work that we are going to spend for this week. Okay. Uh, so now I would like to introduce what is the device that you need to uh, hopefully fully understand, okay, and how it to, to operate. So this is a this is I think you you're familiar with this right? This is a resistive load, right? Here we can as you can see uh, the resistive loads. Uh, having three important lines uh, represent for three phase so as you can see in this uh, system it follows European standard okay? so in Malaysia basically we use red yellow blue to represent three phase lines but in this European, because this is a product from German, Lukas Nuller, okay? I, for, I forgot to inf uh, inform all of you, Lukas Nuller. So this is a product of uh, from German. Okay, so in principle, they use uh, different colors compared to British standard that we used to have in Malaysia, red, yellow, blue. But here we have, on top of that is... Uh, just a moment okay uh, i think you may not be able to see clearly but anyhow i will tell you the first color is uh, uh, brown or chocolate eh? and then black and l3 okay? l3 this one this is clear more clear ah yeah this is better so l1 yeah, introduced for l1 which is uh, chocolate or gray, uh, brown color and then L2, black color. Next, L3, gray and neutral blue colors. Different compared to Malaysian standard, right? Uh, blue is considered as uh, uh, one of uh, fees uh, line. And then uh, for the grounding, is uh, is a uh, having a uh, yellow and green colors okay now i will i will introduce uh, the the most basic instrument that we are going to use for uh, energy uh, management first is a resistive load uh, resistive load not resistor okay Remember in, in, in my class, I, I taught you what is the difference between resistor and resistive. 
Uh, think about that, right? So this is a code, yeah, code number for this particular instrument. So this is the this is the resistor, okay, the resistor. So as you can see here, it's written as variable ohmic load three phase. So overall, the power that can be consumed by this load is one kilowatt right this is the rated rated value then here we have uh, this is uh, basically it depends okay it depends it, it can it basically a variable resistor all right so how to to get this value by adjusting this knob so basically as you can see this knob it can change from higher to lower okay, 750 ohm to 56 so think about this why why within higher resistor then you have lower value of ampere ampere I mean current and slowly if you move to uh, clockwise then you can see that the current will increase so try to think about this i'm going to uh, ask you regarding all this so this is overall features I mean, and uh, you have to be careful make sure that you are not uh, leaving it too long when you especially when you have uh, or you plan to use at the higher level of the current and something will be happen in this an instrument so think about that also i will ask you why that's happened okay next is the capacity floats so this is the capacity float so this is the code number for this particular instrument and similarly having the similar uh, power consumption but here as you can see you can also have uh, option or setting of uh, capacitive value you see there we can have each phase okay each phase each phase means, for instance, say you wanted to have phase, say a phase uh, one, okay, phase one. So if you plan to have thirty micro ohms, see this is thirty micro ohm, right? So if you would like to have thirty micro ohm, then what you should do is you have to connect here. Then we need to take uh, another connector. Then you have to connect from this point to another terminal. Then we can have a complete loops, All right? So similarly, similarly for eight microfarad. So basically here you already connect terminated terminated right so then to have a complete connection then you just plug it here so here we have eight microfarad this is four microfarad and here is two microfarad what about if i ask you to make a connection for six microfarad so please think about that so if if you would like to have for the whole connection of the face then you must make sure you connected connected these two faces okay so then pick up the two more connector
then please make a, make a complete connection. So therefore you have complete connection for your capacitor. Okay, next let's have a look for inductive loads. So this is the inductive load, right? CO3301 PD uh, and similarly having the same, same features of uh, energy consumption 1 kilowatt. So same same technique as what I have shown you just now for inductive load. So make sure that say for instance you would like to have 1.2 1.2 Henry right here we have a uh, few number few option 1.2 Henry 1.62 Henry 2.4 2.8 3.2 right so similarly like uh, in capacity float so in order to have complete connection for three phase then you have to do like this so basically this is the this is the phase three right l3 and then this is for phase two black color and here is for phase chocolate brown okay now since this is about the uh, energy energy management so in this particular experiment we would like you all of you to to do a connection and try to identify the profile of power uh, in terms of power either uh, voltage right either in terms of uh, var or voltage ampere so in, in order to monitor that therefore you we have to have this particular instrument power quality meter okay for the time being we will only focus the, on how to uh, using this uh, uh, <coughs> setting okay for the rest we don't have i mean we, we have we, we leave it as it is we don't have to think about how to use these those things unless it, if we interested to do a connection with our uh, internet system then we have to use those things of course it, 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 is, it will be used for a future i mean for advanced uh, application so for the timing because we only focus on energy management so then we just need to think or know how to use loads or impedance and the monitoring system or which is known as power quality meter so this is very interesting where we can see the profile of each phase right for instance this is a uh, profile for phase to neutral then we can have fish to phase and for for instance you want to have fish to neutral fish to neutral mean from here from the line to neutral point so in principle you you can have a line to neutral for each lines for instance if you would like to have phase voltage from l1 to l to neutral then you you, you can simply make a connection from here to here yeah then the rest is about the uh, connection to the loads or to the supply it's up it depends it depends on the topology that we we interest we interested okay uh, similarly for line two so this is the way to get phase neutral from l2 to neutral right 
and L2 to L3 to neutral. So this is the way. Right. So line to line means it is between the lines, between the line and the lines, line one and L1, L1 and L2 for instance. Okay. You see L1, L2, L2, L3, L3, L1. Okay. Next, we can have a profile of a current for each lines. Then we can have a volt ampere or apparent power. Apparent power for each lines. Oh, sorry, uh, this is a uh, watt. Uh, watt for each line. And then reactance. Uh, and then this is in terms of total okay and then this is a power factor later on we will study on this and total power factor this is something uh, related to moto because today we, we are not uh, focused on this right so we just need to we just keep it and then the frequency also can we can see the frequency and this is total harmonic distortion. This is something uh, which is not related to our study. So we can leave it as it is. And phase the diagram. So this one we will look, uh, we, will do, we will spend our time for looking at this uh, profile where we do uh, working with uh, machine stuff. I mean, for instance, this is a synchronous generator. Then we can see the profile of uh, phase diagram. So next is uh, harmonic, yeah, something related to harmonic. This is uh, energy consumption, right? So yeah, this is the beauty by having this stuff, right? We can see so many things. Anyhow, we now we will we will focus on our uh, basic regarding on uh, uh, energy management.